I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, I need some clarity. Got an email here from a viewer. He says, I'll try to make this as short as possible. Last year, I met a girl, and we hit it off instantly. She told me that she was separated and that she has a daughter. Normally, I'd run, but there was something about her. That's the thing. When you love the mom, you'll love the kids as well. But if you're not really into the mom, you won't really be that into the kids. He says, we dated for a couple of months and she wanted to be exclusive. I said yes and we were off. So she starts telling me shit like, I'm not sure you are able to wait for me when I'm ready. And that's the only thing that she's concerned about. It tells me that you're being impatient with her. He says, now at the time, I didn't really question it, but now I can see what the hell she was talking about. She broke up with me in January of this year because she said she had too much on her plate, like school, she had no job, taking care of her daughter, getting a divorce, and just not having much to offer at the moment. Those are her excuses, but at the end of the day, the reason why she broke up with you is because you did more things wrong than right. You lowered her interest in you instead of raising it. And so eventually she got so turned off to the point where it just wasn't emotionally worth it to be with you. Now when a woman is head over heels in love with you, it won't matter what's going on in her life because you'll be her source of happiness and strength. But instead, you obviously are probably pushing things along, trying to get her to live with you or marry you or whatever it was. The bottom line is you were... You were too over eager with her because women that are happy and in love, they don't dump you when they're happy and in love. Women that are chasing you, that are blowing up your phone all the time, that are doing 70 to 80% of the calling, pursuing, texting, and initiating contact, they're not going to dump you when they're doing that. So that tells me that you were doing more of the pursuing and more of the chasing and eventually, in other words, you assume the woman's role in the relationship because you've probably been brainwashed by too many movies and TV programs telling you that you got to chase women and act like a stalker and then they'll fall in love with you, which the exact opposite happens when you do that. He says, and, and she also says that I was putting too much pressure on her because I told her I would marry her, but only because we were talking about the future. Again, it's not appropriate. If she wasn't bringing up the subject of marriage I mean, she's in the middle of a divorce, and you shouldn't be talking about marriage when she isn't even divorced from her previous husband yet. If she brings up wanting to get married, then it's okay to talk about it. But until she does, it just means she's not emotionally there, and so what's the rush? If you do the things that I talk about in my book and you follow the script, basically, eventually the girl will fall head over heels in love with you as long as you're dating a girl that has a high level of attraction and interest in you to start with. And obviously this girl did because she asked you to be exclusive. And if a woman's willing to ask you to be exclusive, guess what? She'll ask you to move in together. She'll ask you to get married. She'll say, when are we going to, I was hoping we get engaged soon. Those are the kinds of things that they'll say when they feel it. But if they're not feeling it, they're not going to talk about it and they're not going to say it. And that's why it's just completely unnecessary to bring it up. He says, so at first I say, fuck it and fuck her. But then a week later I tell her I want nothing more for her. To, but to, for her to better herself and her family. Then I leave her alone completely, and so she starts to email me months apart until I delete my email altogether so she will leave me alone. So between February and April, we were not together. She doesn't text me, or she texts me, and she was mad because she said I didn't wish her a happy birthday or come to her graduation. Hey, she dumped you. It's her loss. A guy who perceives himself as a catch and he wants to be with somebody, you are not interested in being her buddy or her male girlfriend or her manservant or her buddy. You are interested in being her lover and she changed the terms of your relationship and you can't move on with your life and find the right person for you if you're still fucking around with somebody that dumped you. And so, hey, you know, it's her loss. She made the decision and not that you're going to tell her this stuff or rub it in her face, but hey. So what that communicates to her bringing that stuff up is that it bothered her that you weren't there. It bothered her that you weren't reaching out to her anymore. And it's just her way of trying to feel you out and find and discover if you have any feelings for her still whatsoever. you got to learn to read between the lines with women. 
because they're they're never going to be direct about things. Women are always indirect, and they play little fun games and and they use innuendo and things of that nature to try to figure you out and find where you are at emotionally towards how you feel about her. He said she contacted me to see if I still had feelings. I tell her that I am not interested in being friends. Good for you for standing up for yourself. She says we can date and take it slow and see what happens. We've been dating for four months and having sex and I'm at the point where I need some clarity. She dropped the L-bomb on me. In other words, she said she's in love with you. And then that tells me you're doing more things right than wrong the second time around. I would assume because you've been following my videos and reading my book and applying what it teaches in there. Being more mysterious and letting her work to earn your love. Instead of you just throwing it at her and giving it to her, which basically communicates that it doesn't mean anything. So, I mean, as far as you needing clarity, you don't need to worry about it. It's just, if she's not bringing up the topic of marriage or moving in together, it just means she's not there yet. You've got to be patient. and continue, continue to court her. Continue to do things I talk about in my book. Obviously, there's still some things that you're not doing right with her. It's causing her to have doubts, but you got to be patient. You know, you got to take your time with this stuff. Repetition is the mother of skill. And the more you apply the things I talk about in my book and in my videos, the better you will get at it and the quicker you will get the results you want from the women that you're with. And so she dropped the L bomb on me and said that she was in love with me but doesn't act on her emotions anymore because it gets her into trouble. What do you do in this situation? Continue to do what you're doing. Don't complicate things. Just continue to court her and romance her like you're doing. Make sure she's doing 70 to 80% of the calling, texting, and pursuing. Because if a girl is chasing you, she's not going to be dumping you. So if you're busy going about your life and then you just take her out once a week unless she's calling you every day. And when a girl calls you, instead of chit-chatting on the phone, because you can't raise her level of attraction and interest in you, over the phone, you got to do it in person. And so you send, when she reaches out to you, like if she calls or texts you the day after you last took her out to tell you what a great time she had or that she was thinking about you, just say, oh, baby, great to hear from me. I was thinking about you, too. I want to see you. When are you free to get together again? Make a definite date and say, awesome, I will see you then. If she wants to chit-chat on the phone, just say, I'd love, I want to talk to you, but we're going to have to do it tomorrow night or Wednesday night or whatever that heck day it happens to be that I see you because I'm really jammed up, I'm real busy right now, but I can't wait to see you, and when I see you, I can give you my undivided attention. And in between the time that you see her and you've got the date, that's going to be building the sexual anticipation. That's, I mean, you, it's counterintuitive, you're not doing anything, but she's looking forward to the date, and she's thinking about you, and that causes her emotions to rise. And if you continue to do that, she's already falling in, falling in love with you. And I don't care what she said about she doesn't act on her emotions anymore. That's bullshit. You look at what a woman does, not what she says. And the fact that she's just fallen in love with you, I would imagine probably in a few weeks or a month or so, she'll be bringing up marriage or moving in together or whatever it happens to be. And when she does, then you can start talking about those things and feel her out and make sure you ask her questions. What do you mean? So what are you saying? What are you telling me? Get her to be very specific by asking her good, high-quality questions. The quality of your relationship is going to be in direct proportion to the quality of the questions that you consistently ask her. And so if she says something and you're not really sure what she means or where she's coming from, just say, what do you mean? I'm not, sh I'm not sure what you're saying to me. You know, she says, well, I was wondering where this is going to go. And that's usually meaning, when are we going to get married? But you just say, what do you mean? What are you trying to say to me? You can say with a smirk on your face. She's like, well, I was hoping we'd get engaged soon. She's like, so are you proposing marriage to me? Are you proposing to me? It's like, how are you not getting on down on one knee? And you say that to her. Because love is playful and fun. It's not supposed to be serious. And then you get her to reveal her true feelings. And you say, well, so if you're telling me that you're in love and you want to get married, let's just see what happens. And maybe, just maybe, as long as you're a good girl and you continue to be sweet and charming and love me and continue to fuck my brains out and maybe I'll surprise you by getting down on one knee and giving you an, a ring but it all depends on what a good girl you are so you just have to keep keep seducing me and keep charming me and 
maybe I'll surprise you. Let's just see what happens. And you're mysterious about it. You have fun with it. Be playful about it. And it'll drive her nuts. And it'll make her want you even more. And she'll bring it up even more and more and more. And then that's when you, it's like, because the idea is you build tension. It's like you want to resist her. It's like when you're having sex with a girl and she says, I want you to come now. Wait, wait to come because she wants to feel your resistance. She wants to feel your strength. It's all you have to do, dude. So it sounds like, you know, you're a matter of weeks away from hearing what you want to hear as long as you continue to do things right and put this, sh these fucking ridiculous ideas out of your head about you need to know where you stand with her. Just keep doing what you're doing, dude. You're almost there. Just be patient. It's in the fucking bag. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website. Click the Contact Me tab, which can be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website. Click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen. And just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, go to my website and underneath the email sign up box on the right hand column, there is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't already have a Kindle device, on the right hand side there is a button you can click to download a free e reader app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in my coaching videos and the articles on my website and my email newsletter, you can show your appreciation by going to my website and at the bottom of your screen in the Wibia toolbar, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.